Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Marvel Snap Deck Guides. I'm Gallo27. We have a very special episode today because the new season passes out, which means we have a new card, and that new card is Nebula. So, Nebula, when you play her, for every turn after you play her, if your opponent doesn't play a card at that location, she gets plus two power. Perfect. One cost card, fantastic. I got this card when it came out. I've been playing with it all afternoon. For the first three hours, I was going to make this video and I was going to open with saying, do not buy the season pass because Nebula sucks. That's what I was going to do. Because over that first three hours, I lost 50 cubes. I couldn't win. I hated her. I hated her. Probably my fault, but blame her. And then the next 30 to 45 minutes, it clicked of what I needed to do. And I'll show you the deck in a moment. And we won back 25 of the 50 cubes in 30 minutes. So I found out, I found the solution. I found what Nebula is for. And let's get straight into the deck. So when I first started, I just kept getting Killmonger. And I was trying to get Nebula to be as high as possible. But that is not the point of Nebula. So listen to this very carefully. Nebula is there to fulfill the Guardians of the Galaxy characters. She is there to buff Rocket Raccoon, Star-Lord, Groot, Drax, and Gamora. That is why she is there. She is not there to buff herself. And let me tell you, this, this is why. So, if I play Nebula on turn one, on turn two, I am going to play, if I've got them in my hand, either Rocket Raccoon or Star-Lord in the same location. The reason I'm gonna do that is because if my opponent doesn't play a card there, then Nebula gets plus two. If my opponent does play a card there, then Rocket Raccoon and Star Lord get the point, the power buff. Because because Rocket Raccoon, Star Lord, Groot, Drax, and Gamora all have the same on reveal ability, which is if your opponent plays a card at the same location as those cards on that turn, they get two, three, four, five, whatever power boost it is for that specific card. And that is what Nebula is for. She is actually there to power up the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy cards because. Now you know where your opponent's going to play their cards. They're going to try and stop you powering up your Nebula. And in turn, they're actually powering up the rest of your Guardians of the Galaxy cards. Because it doesn't matter which card gets the plus two in the early stages, whether it's Nebula, Rocket Raccoon, or Star-Lord. It doesn't matter. And that is when it clicked for me. It's that it's not about powering up Nebula. It's about powering up everyone else. Because even if Nebula does get Killmonger on turn 4 or 5, it doesn't matter because we've powered up all of her, the other Guardians of the Galaxy characters. So we've still got the points on the board. If Nebula does happen to get up to 6 or 7 or whatever power, we can use armor to protect her. It is not Nebula into armor to start with. It is Nebula into the other Guardians of the Galaxy cards. That is how you win. Now... The other way is once Nebula is powerful and you want to keep her on the board, that's where Storm and Professor X come into it and Spider-Man. So then you can continue to power her up without your opponent being able to play at that location. And then we use Claw to win the location if we need to on the last turn by adding plus six there when no one else can play there. It's better than uh, Doctor Doom because you get plus six, your opponent gets plus five. So Claw becomes a really important card. And then we've got Hobgoblin there as really the only other one that is just there to, you can play it if you know you're about to lock down a location or you can play it to win on the final turn. So that is what I have come to after four and a half hours of really awful decks is this deck and Nebula is there because of the Guardians of the Galaxy friends. Obviously the movie comes out on Thursday so it's a lot of fun to play with these cards but we've got some highlights to show you of some games that we won with this deck and how all the Guardians of the Galaxy characters complement Nebula and vice versa. So let's get into the highlights. If you enjoy the content, please hit subscribe and we'll be back at the end of the video to give it our final thoughts. All right, here we go. We've got, Gar we've got look at this. We've got a handful of Guardians. We've got a handful of Guardians. I actually think we want to play this over here in case we storm it. Perfect. Oh, look at that. We've got all the Guardians. First five cards draw with Guardians. Perfect, see? If they don't decide to play there, we'll take the plus two. But if they want to play there, we've got the Guardians. Oh, that, that hurts. That really hurts. 
They might not play there just because. Let's play here. Because they're going to turn into a symbiote. No, they did play there. Oh no. Oh. I mean, perfect. That's fine. Let's Drax it. Silver Surfer. Let's go Gamora here. Then let's go Claw. That keeps going up. This is going to be very interesting. If we can pull this off. Claw, power that up a little bit more, even if the Silver Surfer comes out. That was perfect. That is all the Guardians there. Look at that. That's the perfect. All of them except Rocket Raccoon. That is perfect. That is fantastic. Breaking news. Let's play Storm here now. Wind, I can claw that. So I want to win the left. Oh. Wind, Got a double Storm. Right, let's just block him off from playing a card here. And this should. Okay, I'm going to win this. He can't play a card here next turn. This is perfect. Oh, I was going to lock it down. Okay, that's fine. We'll get the win. I wish I could snap again. So he can't play a card here next turn. I'm winning there. This is a draw. And I win. Thank you for playing, my friend. You can't win. You cannot win. Okay. Yeah, this is what I actually think I'd... Storm the middle. I can play Claw there. Alright, let's go. Let's get further enough ahead. It's not actually the middle you need to be ahead. You need to be the left ahead because Claw on his own is not going to win your position. Unfortunately, let's go this and this. No, this and this. So, when I take his lizard away, that's perfect. Wind that's good. I don't have to storm it, he's done it for me.
Do I Drax? Do I stop him from playing somewhere else next turn? I think we Drax. Yeah, we had to take his lizard away. I actually think we're locked down this right hand side. Let's try this. Had the hobgoblin option there. Beautiful. We should win. Should absolutely win. Now let's claw it just for good measure. Should still win. And have. And have. Okay, this is it. This is the day. So, there it is, guys. The the Nebula Guardians of the Galaxy deck. As it's a lot of fun, beneficial. And... So there it is, guys. The Guardians of the Galaxy deck. As you can see, a lot of fun. Can win some cubes with it. And, and Nebula rounds out the collection for the Guardians of the Galaxy characters. What I did forget to mention at the start of the video, very important, is that... The Rocket Raccoon, the Star-Lord, the Groots are probably best to play with Nebula because you know where your opponent's going to play. And that's been the downfall with these sorts of cards is you don't know where your opponent's going to play. So you're sort of guessing to get to trigger their on reveal effects. Whereas Nebula then gives you more of a chance to play where your opponent is playing to power up those cards. After that, once you've played Storm, Storm into Drax is a great 3-4 play because more than likely your opponent's going to play where Storm is. So that just powers up Drax even more and then once that's happened on turn five and six your opponent's only got two places to play so you got more chance of playing gamora at the same place as your opponent is playing to power her up so even when you're not playing with nebula you can narrow down where your opponent's going to play to power up the whole guardians of the galaxy collection and that is why the nebula into the shutting down locations i think will be a very effective for this month of marvel snap so please let me know in the comments if you find this deck to be beneficial please let me know if there's any adjustments you have found for yourself and also please let me know if there are any other cards or decks you would like me to make a guide on and i will get that done if you enjoyed the content please hit subscribe and until next time betcha